Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at a really cheap digital multimeter. This is the MSR-R500 from E-Tech City, the Measure Up Digital Multimeter with convenient flip-out stand, backlit display, lightweight and portable. AC, DC voltage and DC current, resistance diode, audible continuity. Now I bought this off of Amazon for uh, $9.99, but as I just looked here a couple days later, it's gone up to $11.50. I just love how they do that. So, while we're unboxing this, I want to give you guys an update on uh, PCB Way and what's you know been going on there. Nothing, nothing has been going on there as the economy of China has basically been shut down since early January due to this virus which is frankly scaring the crap out of me not so much that I'm going to catch the virus but that our government is going to overreact to it and anybody say martial law so here's, here's the meter it is small, you know, hand sized Nice little stand. Works well enough. Fuse 10 amp max 10 second each 15 minutes. Wow, 10 seconds every 15 minutes. Not much of a duty cycle, but okay. 500 milliamp max fused. Category 1, 600 volt. Category 2, 300 volts. No underwriter's laboratory. Or anything like that on here. All right, let's uh, take it through its paces. Of course, it comes with leads, but we know they're going to be crap. So, as I do with all my multimeter testing, I will be using Probe Master leads. That way, we have the same leads across everything we test, and we can eliminate the variable of the different qualities of leads. Alright, let's start with some voltage. This is at what AD 548 voltage standard. It's been warming up here for about 10 minutes or so you can see the little LEDs on there. eBay. I always get asked where did I get this? eBay. Let's put on their voltage standard. So we'll start off on the low end at 2.5 volts. There we go. Two point five one. Two point five. I like it. Move up to five volts. Five oh two. Give it a second to think about it. Seems pretty convinced it's five oh two. So, all right, look, seven and a half. Seven point five two. Well, at least our error multiplier isn't growing. Ten. Oh, there it is. Ten point three. So we have, we have a small error going up but it's it's well within spec and in range it's not going to be a problem so what are the specs on this lovely meter well let's see Five hundred volt RMS, five hundred milliamp manual range, two thousand counts. So, yeah, not great, but it's cheap. If it's cheap and it works, I'm happy. All right, let's move on and check out some resistances. Take these little grabbers off here. These are really nice. 
I get a whole whole set of different little add-ons you can put on these Probe Master probes. Alright, so resistance. We'll go down here to 200 ohms. It should be 2.5. Pretty good. 10. Hundred point two. Yeah, I see no seen a problem at all. all right, let's take it up to two thousand. This should be what nine eighty five. Yeah. All right. Let's check some capacitance. Does it do capacitance? I don't believe it does. Let me check the book. Nope, it doesn't do capacitance. That's okay. I basically got this for a cheap meter to throw in the car. I don't check a lot of capacitors in the car. But I do do a lot of resi I do do. <laughs> I do check a lot of resistances. So Let's check some more resistances with this little breakout board. Again, where did I get it? I got it off of eBay. Just put in... Uh, Surface mount resistor decade box. Put it on uh, 20 megs. This should be 9 megs. Oh, she's thinking about it. She's a little slow. Kind of like my cousin Carl. All right, diodes. That's what I put these in here. This is a silicon junction diode. Should be about a 0.6 or so voltage drop. 7.47. This is a shot key. That one seems about right. Check a couple of these LEDs here. There's a yellow LED. White. Green. So it looks like the voltage is about 3 volts or less than 3 volts. Let's check it. Clipping probe masters to probe masters. Yep, three volts on the voltage check, on the diode check. Oh, I'm sorry. I bumped it, I bumped it, I bumped it the camera. Now, this doesn't do AC current. I'm not going to worry too much about DC current, but it does appear to have a function as a uh, square wave generator or a pulse generator square wave output fifty hertz so it's just going to give us a 50 hertz signal. All right. All right. I got her hooked up here in the square wave output mode. Yeah. My wires hooked on things. Hooked up to a probe lead. And there you can see her on the beautiful Tektronix 468B. Now, if you look here at our horizontal, we're at five milliseconds per division so there's five ten fifteen twenty milliseconds that equals about 50 hertz and then on our volts per division we are at one volt per division so one two three 
four volts peak to peak. That's how we did in the old days, boys and girls. Not going to find any auto set button on here. All right, let's find out what she's got going on underneath. My guess is not a whole heck of a lot. Stuff falling everywhere. I only see two screws. It's possible that that's all there is. One never knows. So there's no non-contact voltage, anything like that on here. This is pretty basic, but that's what you get for your ten bucks, and uh, I'm okay with that. I would rather they give you a, a simple meter that worked pretty well and not try to force in a bunch of stuff that you really have no need for. Okay then. That's a, as Dave Jones would say, that's pretty how you doing. So here we go. There ain't much going on there. Got a blob of solder on our current shunt. No mobs to speak of. Yeah, and there's nothing going on here. It's about as bare and basic as it gets. Let's see, did I put the battery back in right? Yeah. Has a feeble little backlight. I'm not going to test this any further. I'll tell you, we'll do, we'll do one final test. We'll do the... Uh, continuity test. Yep, okay. You can do better for your 10 bucks. There's other stuff out there. I'm not going to add this to my store. I don't recommend it. That's why I'm not even, I'm not even going to check um, AC voltage. I, I, there's nothing in there that would make me feel one way or another that it's safe. So we'll just stop that right there. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. No matter where you're at in the world, please take the precautions necessary to protect you and your family from the uh, coronavirus. Okay? I worry about you guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. A dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.